President, firstly, I wish to congratulate Mr. Kramer for his excellent report on this difficult and most important subject. At the same time, I wish to congratulate the shadows and all those colleagues who have contributed suggestions, advice and amendments, which at the end of the day have formulated a piece of compromised legislation <clears throat> agreed to in negotiation and which will attempt, if implemented, to have a more a better air quality directive and provide to some degree for a cleaner and healthier air for Europe. Mr. President, at a time when respiratory tract infections such as asthma, emphysema and lung cancer are on the increase in many areas of Europe, with those affected being mainly the most vulnerable, i.e. children and the elderly, we as legislators have a duty to ensure that we do our utmost to secure more healthy breathing for our citizens. To this end, we were united in our determination not to give in to the unreasonable demands of the Council, which did not accept any changes to the provisions regarding the existing daily and yearly limit values of PM10, and outrightly rejected the European Parliament's proposal to link any derogation with the adoption of additional EU measures on sources of pollution. Although an agreement has been reached, the Council must nevertheless understand that this House gives greater priority to the health of its millions of citizens than to the wealth of a few European industrial giants. And, and everybody must comprehend fully that the European Parliament is much more concerned with preventing people's lungs from becoming destroyed by disease than with assisting the pairs of greedy industrial barons becoming fatter. Mr. President, I am confident that this House will have a future opportunity to have its full provisions successfully adapted in a less compromised legislation that will truly and comprehensively protect citizens from major respiratory insults. Thank you.